Welcome to this amazing video on niche standards. So here we have a relief valve and we have to look at its paint specifications. Now the interesting case is where you have a design basis where it says that the niche standard must be MR0103. However, the vendor is giving you niche MR0175. In this case, should you accept the standard or not? By the end of the video, I am very sure you will be clear with this confusion as to when to select which standard. So without further delay, let's get into it. The first thing is that we look at a technical paper that gives us a difference between NACE MR 0103 and 0175 to get a better understanding. But before we do that, first let us look at when were the standards born. So the first standard which is NACE MR0175 was first made in the year 1975 and then further down the line with need especially for another standard for refineries MR0103 was made. And there is an interesting observation here which can help you to remember these standards as well. The last two digits of MR0175 and the year which is created was same. Similarly the last two digits of NACE0103 and the year where it was made is same. So you can see that you can remember that NACE MR0175 was first made and then came 0103. Now we look into the basics that MR0175 especially deals with oil and gas production line and the NACE MR0103 deals with refinery environment. So when there was a need especially for refinery environment the MR0103 was created otherwise initially MR0175 existed. This is one important information that you will realize at the end of the video why important this particular uh, year of its inception is. Now we look into NACE MR0175. NACE MR0175 corresponds to ISO standard 15156. Also NACE MR0103 corresponds to the ISO standard 17945. However, majority of the time it's the NACE standard which is referred. Now we look into a case, for example, our standard is NACE MR0103. However, the vendor is providing NACE MR0175. Such cases we get confused that whether should we accept such a standard or should we stick to our requirement. By the end of the video, we'll explore both the cases and be very clear as to when to accept what. But before that, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe and especially press bell icon. So every Saturday, I upload a new video which you can learn and improve your career. Now, we look into the next case. The first case being is that NACE MR0103 is our requirement. However, the vendor is providing us NACE MR0175. In this case, what should we do? So, in this case, we should know that the offshore environment is usually more corrosive, has higher amount of toxic gases and you could say is more tougher or harsher environment as compared to the onshore or the refinery part. Now, what happens is we can come to a general thumb rule that MR0175 is far more deals with far more harsh environment as compared to MR0103. However, we'll take the example which was given initially for the paint specifications. So if the relief valve is for NACE MR0175 specified, that means it can deal for far harsher environments of offshore, then we can accept NACE MR0175 in place of 0103 for paint specifications and for general simple things. However, note this that if we are having some other cases for example important considerations like material selection and our requirement is NACE MR0103 however the vendor is providing a 0175 can we blindly accept this the answer is no we should not do it why because MR0103 was especially catered for the refining environment where certain materials and certain special issues of sulfide stress cracking were taken into consideration and for such cases we must discuss with a material specialist and only then approve for cases like materials etc however for simple cases like the paint specifications etc we can go ahead with 0175 now we look into the next case where our requirement is 0175 however the vendor is providing a 0103 
Now, if we try to recall, we, we had learned that NACE MR0175 deals with far harsher environments as, and is more stronger. Now, that being the case, what happens is if our requirement is 0175 and the vendor says that 0103 is good, superior, we should not go with it and usually we should stick with our requirement of 0175 also i've written a free ebook on pip instrumentation standards it's completely free it has 2000 plus downloads engineers from world renowned companies like shell dow technip dupont etc have found it valuable the link is given in the description below i think you would find it very useful also if you like this video please subscribe and especially press bell icon so every saturday you can receive a new video happy learning take care